What's going on, Saviors? GH here. Today, we're gonna be checking out the top-rated MMORPG on Steam. Yes, this list is by Steam. And with that said, let's do this. Coming in at the fifth spot, it's RuneScape. It's a fantasy MMORPG developed by Jagex and it's released on Steam on October 14, 2020. It's a traditional MMORPG in every sense. There's gathering materials, crafting, questing, and the combat is tab targeting. If you're new to RuneScape, it might not be for you because of the plethora of modern MMORPG titles we're currently receiving right now. But I know you're gonna ask, why is it top rated? The obvious reason is of course, it's a good game. But there are also a huge nostalgia factor here where you get veteran gamers reviewing the game positively. And if you're gonna ask me, is it worth it to check out right now? My answer is yes. If Lost Ark, Final Fantasy XIV, PSO2, Guild Wars, and other modern MMORPGs didn't catch your attention. RuneScape is currently at around 4K concurrent users on Steam, but it's also playable outside of Steam, so the population could be way bigger. In my short time checking this game out, there's so much to do in this game. There's a lot of content, and it's all about the adventure and making your own story. Next top rated MMORPG right here is Trove. I know what you're thinking, what the heck is this Minecraft ripoff? <laughs> well, uh, no comment. Trove is a sandbox action MMORPG developed by Tryon Worlds and it's released on Steam in July 2015. In the game, you collect a bunch of stuff from mounts to equipments to skins and more. The main thing that you do in the game is dungeoning. Yes, you're gonna do endless amount of dungeons in the game. But of course, you also have the ability to build stuff in the game, socialize in those MMO interactions. Now the game is monetized through a cash shop wherein you can find gachas, loot boxes, viable classes, costumes, gems that give stats, premium subscription, and more. So yeah, this is one of those MMORPGs I visit regularly because I love the world and how active the game is. Even though on Steam it's currently at around 2k concurrent users. Now if you ask me, is the game worth it? My answer is yes. If you like what you see, then download the game, it's free to play. Number 3 in the top rated MMORPG on Steam is Star Wars The Old Republic. I think much has been said about this game, so I'll be quick. Star Wars The Old Republic is a sci-fi tab targeting MMORPG based in the Star Wars universe. It's developed by your favorite gaming company, Electronic Arts. It's released on Steam December 2011, so it's about a decade now and it's still going strong. The main thing that I like about this game is its heavy emphasis on the story and the lore of the game. The game starts out slow because of the walking, so yeah, expect a lot of walking at the beginning of the game. Star Wars The Old Republic is currently at around 8k concurrent users on Steam and in my opinion, it's definitely a worthwhile game to check out. Now for the second top rated MMORPG on Steam, and it's ESO, Elder Scrolls Online. This is one high quality MMORPG right here. I agree with this being one of the top rated MMORPG on Steam. It features action combat, hack and slash, and bosses commonly uses telegraph attacks that makes encounters more engaging. And for an 8 year old game, the graphics still looks decent although at the beginning, it mostly looks brown and grey. Now, this is a buy to play game and they also have a cash shop that gives advantages to paying players. I don't know about you guys but to me, it's too much. They should choose one monetization only. It's either buy to play, that's it, or free to play with a cash shop. Anyway, if money is not a question, then ESO is gonna entertain you even if you're just soloing. The developers are still keeping this game updated and content is plentiful. Currently, there's about 25k people playing it at any given time, so there's a lot of people to play with. In short, it's an amazing game with a monetization scheme that I just couldn't agree on. Now for the top rated MMORPG on Steam, and it's Destiny 2. It's a multi-platform looter shooter sci-fi MMORPG developed by Bungie, the guys behind Halo. Well, they used to be. It's released on October 1, 2019 on Steam, and since then it stayed as the top rated MMO, and it's also one of the most played MMO on Steam. 
Now, if you're new to Destiny 2 and know nothing about it, wow, that's just, I am speechless. Okay, anyway, Destiny 2 features FPS combat, which attracts not just traditional MMO players, but also competitive FPS gamers. Now, the gameplay in the game feels amazing. I like most weapons obtainable in the game. As for the other features, we can unlock powerful elemental abilities, collect equipments to gear up our character to enhance our build. Now, the game has large open maps where public events, story, and quests are done. Currently, Destiny 2 has about 60k players playing at the same time, only on Steam, with more gamers playing on consoles. Destiny 2 is free to play on Steam, but it's more of a demo or trial because expansions are sold in the in-game cash shop. And that's the top rated MMORPG on Steam. And this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.